I love Out of the Ordinary. Now this is the Spirit Quartz from the home of the Spirit Quartz, Booknight Hook, South Africa. Color-wise, I'm a little bit lost for color. On this one, we, we can almost talk about a brownish reddishness, maybe intermingled with some amethyst and even some smoky. Uh, uh, all the way, Booknight's Hook in South Africa. Uh, a famous deposit for our uh, spirit quartz. Now, typically the spirit quartz has a central quartz crystal, as you see here, a permanent quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. And then color is usually determined by what happens around the edges of the crystal. Now, in this case, there's an undertone of amethyst, undertone of smoky, almost uh, almost a coca color, off coca color color. The yellow would be uh, uh, caused by girthite or hematite in stages of oxidation trapped inside the quartz crystals. Uh, uh, for those who may doubt, these are so perfect. Uh, these are absolutely natural, so these haven't been doctored or dyed, or as some may say. Uh, these are absolutely natural as they occur in nature. Um, you know, being a collector for all these years, it's been now almost, well, over 40 years that I've been collecting minerals. Um, I, I believe there are enough natural minerals out there to, to please most. We don't need to go the route of synthetics. <laughs> Zoom in again. I'm going to give it one more turn on the turntable. There we go. My turntable being my fingers, of course. I just go around like that. Give you an idea of the crystal terminations. Lovely piece. All the way from South Africa. Spirit quartz. Uh, different. Totally different to, to the, the usual spirit quartz we encounter. A very odd color. Um, I want to look into that face again. Uh, let's just zoom in a little bit there.